That's the only time I ever wanted to kill someone. People ask me, um, you know, how do you do the interviews and how do you, you keep your temper? I suppose the closest I've ever come to wanting to kill someone was in India when we were doing a story about uh, child prostitution, people, young people, young girls being stolen from their families, being taken away, chained to beds for over a year where they're, where they're raped. And eventually they can't leave that place, they don't know the way back. And also they're a shame to their family, so they can't go back. Anyway, I met a Mr Khan, that's not his real name, who um, specialised when he was younger in entrapment, in trapping these girls on a one-to-one, -one, saying that he'd marry them, you know, he'd come in on a scooter, which is something that most of these people don't aspire to ever owning. He'd ride the girl around, promise to take her to his family, then he'd drug them and then sell them on to, to a brothel. Mr Khan has around about 300 to 400 people working for him. Um, he traffics around 1,200 to 1,300 girls every year. And we knew that he had been responsible for killing some of them, but when I asked him how many he believed he'd killed, he told me that he'd killed, he couldn't remember exactly, between 300 and 400 girls, either by strangulation, by stabbing them, or by poisoning them. Uh, and when he told me, my translator, who was obviously hearing what he was speaking first, started to cry. When I heard the translation through her sobs, he started crying. Now I've met some very bad people, and most of them are victim of circumstance, but when he started feeling sorry for himself, for the fact that he killed those young girls, that's the only time I ever wanted to kill someone.